The Fawns. The what? The Fawns. The Fawns. Don't tell me you've never heard of them. Come on. No. They always say, hey, leave us at a Fawn. Ugh, what a loser. The Fawns. Yeah, he looks too old to be in high school. And what's up with the leather jacket? He's so dreamy. Um, okay. I have to find my way home, so it was nice meeting you. Really. Okay. As the Beaver. Hi, um, do you mind if I borrow your phone? I need to call my mom. I've been gone for so long, she probably won't even remember me. There's nothing to be nervous about. Just go ahead and call her up. Sure, just tell her who you are and get a little line on her. Excuse me, Mr. Cleaver, could you ask Beef to stop staring at me? He's freaking me out. He can't stop me from sitting in my own living room, can he, Dad? Uh, no, not if you're quiet. <laughs> Don't listen. Yes, sir. Idiot, call back later. <laughs> no, but thanks for your help. Um, I have to go. Bye. Michael, answer the door. Okay, Dad. Yo, is Pops home? Oh, yes, he is. Come in. <laughs> I'm Mr. Evans. This is my wife, Mrs. Evans. What can we do for you? Oh, y'all, I'm looking for my family, and I was wondering, how do I look? Sure, fantastic. My name is Sarah Cotton from the Hood of Calo's Basses. Represent. And yo, I'm just trying to find my house. So you guys look kind of cool. Can I stay with you? In case you all ain't aware, but we're living in hard times. Cheerios. Here's the story of a lovely lady who was bringing up three very lovely girls. All of them had hair of gold, like their mother, the youngest one in curls. It's a story of a man named Brady, who was busy with three boys of his own. They were four men living all together, yet they were all alone. Till the one day when the lady met this fellow, and they knew that it was much more than a hunt That this group must somehow form a family That's the way we all became the Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch The Brady Bunch That's the way we became the Brady Bunch Almost done, sir. How many troops? There's about five left, but I can't take him out with my handgun. I got it.
play basketball, and she's literally making every shot. You know, it's true. She, she's a natural. Tuning in to KVIX. Well, tonight we're going to be reporting on Julia Mammoth's outstanding performance on Los Angeles Sparks, where she broke three world records. Wow, Mamlock really showed her stuff tonight. She always does, Jason. She always does. Every team wants a piece of her. She even made it on the Oprah Winfrey Show. Let's check it out. Next. We literally searched the globe for the most intelligent and talented young people on the planet for today's show. Our guests represent five different countries, Russia, Austria, Canada, India, and of course, America. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's fantastic. How did you do that? How did you learn to teach yourself? Well, I was at this camp one time and I saw everyone playing and it just looked like so much fun. So I asked them if I could play. And they said yes, and we just started playing, and I had so much fun. I knew it was the right thing for me. At the age of seven, I won't use the word scared. How about, were you a little nervous? Were you anxious? No, I loved it. Let's check out some of my awesome moves. <laughs> 